everybody, I'm Julie Reynolds Martinez with Voices of Monterey Bay, and I want to welcome you to our first ever online pop up. Tonight we're going to have drinks and a show. And don't worry if you don't drink alcohol, I've also got a mocktail recipe here for you. And for those who do imbibe, we're going to make the classic sidecar pandemic version. So let's start with the sidecar. The sidecar, it says, wants an extremely popular drink. It is thought to have originated in Paris during World War I. The sidecar makes an interesting after-dinner drink, as well as a before-dinner cocktail. Go easy on the Cointreau, or the drink will be sticky sweet. Don't worry, we don't even have any Cointreau. Like I said, we're doing the pandemic whatever's in your pantry version today. So you take your cocktail shaker. If you don't have a cocktail shaker, don't worry. You can use a mason jar. You can use a mayonnaise jar. I don't care. Just get the mayo out of it first. And our main ingredient, the star of the show, is brandy. And we're going to take brandy. 55 milliliters, or about two ounces, into the shaker. And now for our little shutdown secret, because we're using what's in the pantry, and I don't have any Cointreau, which is the second ingredient. That's your orange liqueur. It could be called Cointreau, it could be called Triple Sec, there's Grand Marnier, different brands. We're not using any of those. The secret, the bartender's secret is orange marmalade. It's bitter, it's got the orange peel in there, it gets used a lot of the same flavors that are in your Grand Marnier. You can also use your plain old orange extract if you're a baker and you have this stuff in the cupboard and just mix it with simple syrup or sugar water or even honey. In this case, I'm using a sugar-free simple syrup because I don't like to eat sugar and this one is made with monk fruit. I didn't know fruit grew on monks, but apparently it does. And it has no sugar. <laughs> so I'm going to make this version with the orange extract. And when we make our mocktail, I'll make it with the marmalade. And you can see how that works. It's pretty simple. So just a little dash of orange extract goes in there into the shaker. And we're going to put in one ounce or about one shot glass full of the simple syrup. If you just make some sugar water and put that in, it won't be quite as thick and viscous, is the proper word, but it's okay. It's a cocktail. All right, and then finally, the thing that makes a sidecar a sidecar is the juice of half a lemon. And I don't have half a lemon, so we're using this stuff in the bottle. Because again, it's whatever's in the pantry. So here goes about an ounce, more or less, your taste, depending on how sweet or sour you like it. And that is it. If you have an actual lemon, you might want to add a little twist of lemon peel. I don't have an actual lemon. You know what? Let's put some ice in there. And now comes the fun part. Shake. And this is where you justify the expense of having a cocktail shaker it's just so fun. Make sure that lid's on tight or you'll get a shower. <laughs> and now here's the part where you make yourself look really cool. You take a slice of any citrus fruit and if you don't have any citrus fruit a little dab of water on your towel and what you want to do here is wet the rim of your glass just enough and then i have this little plate of it's actually not sugar but you can use sugar you can use what i'm using here which is this monk fruity stuff more fruits from monks <laughs> isn't that just so cool And hold your lid on tight. We've got our strainer here. If you're using your mason jar, use a strainer. This, my friends, is your classic sidecar. Salud!
Então, have another.